we in Britain seem to regard winter with perennial surprise. But on the continent, there's a more intelligent anticipation of the hazards to come. And in some parts, it's come with a vengeance, catching even the continentals with their winter drawers down. Near the port of Brest, tragedy. A truck skidding out of control caused the death of six people, all in the same family. Fortunately, winter doesn't hold the upper hand for long. The snow plows are soon on the road to victory. And up in Lapland, the ordeal of winter makes ours look pretty mild. Before the ice really clamps down, the annual reindeer roundups are held. Scratching at their diet of reindeer moss, the animals provide meat, milk and warm clothing. In fact, to the laps, the reindeer's a sort of supermarket on legs, the source of almost all his basic needs. Back home, we're still trying to master the flu virus. Hospitals in London and many parts of the country have been sending out a desperate plea for help. In some hospitals, up to a third of the nurses are sick, and some of the wards have had to be closed. Difficult to estimate the number of flu victims altogether. The country's industrial workforce has been reduced by something like three million, and London's emergency bed service, overloaded with an avalanche of calls, indicates the worst situation for seven years. Only emergency cases are being admitted. The rest of us have had to battle it out at home, and now chemists are running short of bottles and influenza medicine. They opened the ski season, and in flew Florence, Florence Stuber of France, finishing fourth while others were coming off much worse in the international meeting at Val d'Isère. Well, it's only the start of the season. You can't expect them all to have got their ski legs. Winner of this special ladies slalom, Michel Jaco of France. In the downhill event for men, Bernard Orsel of France among some of the top names on the ski circuit. Orsel finishes in fourth place. With Austria's Karl Schranz taking third place, Daniel Detweiler carries the Swiss flag towards a very promising time. But he fails by nearly a second to make the best time of the day. There's quite a flurry among the Continentals when Australia's Malcolm Milne goes sweeping down the mountain to set up the fastest time of the meeting, 2 minutes, 13.79 seconds. Malcolm, who runs a hop farm near Melbourne, started racing in Europe five years ago when he was 16. His elder brother was killed at about the same time, training for the 1964 Olympics. Today, Malcolm Milne has carried his family name to triumph, becoming the first Australian to win a major continental race. <laughs>